This is Pulapo. You know where is, what is Pulapo? The police training. Yeah, the place to train our pegawai kanan anggota police to train our police officer. Okay, I received complaints from the uh, trainers, not the trainees, the trainers, those uh, police officers who train the future police officer from Pulapo. They complained to me for two years. I think there are eight blocks of uh, this uh, tower. One block is, uh, I think it's 10 floors or more than 10 floors. All their leaves broke down since two years ago. So imagine every day they have to climb up and climb down. And who stays here? All the trainees. There are a few hundred of trainees, our future IGP, high-ranking Bukiaman officers train here. They have to walk up and down every day because all their leaves are broken down since two years ago. And they are like eight blocks. That's one thing. Second thing is about the, the toilet. You can see the government has no money to repair. But that is not true. I was told the government has given the money to either the Home Ministry or Bukit Aman. And the money stuck there. The money never went down to Pulapo. Why? IGP has to answer. Okay. Another issue is about the food. The food provided in the Pulapo Canteen. I just want to talk about this year alone. This year alone, in March, there were mass food poisoning. 25 cadets admitted to hospital. The second incident in May this year. And the third, the latest one, is on the 29 of, 28 and 29 of October. Empat belas orang cadet masuk hospital oleh sebab food poisoning. The food supplier, they supply all the rotten chicken and fish. This year alone, there are three incidents of food poisoning, mass food poisoning. And this is not the, the first time. This is only three cases this year. The past many years, so many cases. And the, the home ministry are still using the same uh, food supplier. Why? Then the home ministry, KSU, or the person in charge has to answer. Okay, so I, one minute. So I want the whole, our home minister and our cabinet to seriously look into this Pulapo issue. Imagine this is a place to train our future IGP. How good will be our future IGB in this kind of uh, surrounding and uh, circumstances? And also, if this is our Pulapo, bayangkan keadaan keadaan begitu teruk di penjara, lock up dan sebagainya. Okay, if this can happen to our Pulapo, what about our lock up centers and prisons? Okay, if I if I can add uh, my one of my members was in the police station, Sento, uh, yesterday for some matter. Uh, she was giving statement, and the investigating officer told my member, only the tables that he was sitting is provided by the government. The rest, from the printer to the paper to the stationery, even the chairs, the the police officer has to find his own money to buy. So this gives rise to opportunities for corruption and bribery. I'm not accusing the police. Today, I'm helping the police, especially our future high-ranking police officers. And uh, Bukit Aman person in charge of Pulapo, if possible, should be transferred immediately for filling the job badly.